relic of the good old British seaside holiday, it's always had a unique appeal for its visitors. It's been like this for quite a few years now, and it's derelict. It's just like France without a dip, with a different language. If you come to Jaywick, you're literally coming here for the beach and the sands, you know, like the sea. But there's nothing else down here, nothing. Traditionally, Jaywick's been a favourite haunt for people from the East End of London, many of whom have made it their home. But other visitors have deserted it in recent years. We used to get quite a few holiday makers come down here. Now, really, the heart of Jaywick has, has gone. Yet no other resort has the tough survival instinct of Jaywick. It's withstood six floods in its time, and everywhere you look, there's a reminder of the enduring spirit of the East End. The old Blitz spirit is still alive and well there because you think about the old East Enders during the war, climbing over rubble, you know, danger, rubbish everywhere, where, you know, the Nazis had bombed everything, so everything was all over the place. You could get injured, you could get sick. That's a theme park called Jaywick. And while other British seaside resorts may curl up in the face of competition, the people of Jaywick are showing true East End grit in doing all they can to bring the tourists back. And here you make your own entertainment, which we have to do, don't you? Old East Ender Stan Willis fell in love with these parts years ago. And he wasn't put off by what he found in the sea. I went down with my late ex father in law and he went out swimming one day and he came back with all toilet paper stuck all over him where he pumped it out down there and he got the paper. <laughs> and he had a mouthful of it. <laughs> I'm not saying what else it was other than toilet paper, but <laughs> it was floating. Like a Jaywick Donald Trump, Stan spotted that beachfront properties around here have a lot of potential and bought up four to develop. You could advertise this place in the paper tonight and there'll be six people wanting it tomorrow. For some reason, loads of people want to get in the jail, but I don't know why. It may not be to everyone's tastes, but Stan's certain of Jaywick's selling points. If you're on the seafront itself, the ones on the front are the prime ones in Jaywick, because you've got the sea views, some of them you've got off-street parking, if not, you've got a small veranda out the front which you can go and sit out in the summer. As you look out the door now, you look over and you've got the sea, You've got the best sandy beach in all of East Coast, and if anything, the best place in England. You've got everything you could ever want. With views like that, who needs fancy rides and amusements? Although Jaywick does boast the hive of activity that is the Sunspot Arcade. Some people do consider this as like the centre of the community for some reason. I don't know why, but they do. You know, one lady was actually saying, well, if they knock this place down, I'm moving. There is something for everybody here. You can do your shopping, play the machines, have a cup of coffee, meet your friends. What more can you want? But whether you want it or not, there is more. Musical talent in the shape of singer Roy Green. If we take entertainment as a whole, well, we're buzzing like Liverpool did in the 60s. Sun's out today, ain't got a care. Pursuing his music career, Roy swapped swinging Chelsea for the vibe of Jaywick 20 years ago. It's destiny that brought me here. It was meant to be. Jaywick called me and here I am. Yet, believe it or not, there's an even bigger star attraction than Roy living in Jaywick. Meet Whiskey, reputedly the oldest cat in the world, according to his owner. I've had Whiskey now for 33 and a half years. I was told by some people that came down here that they had checked with the Guinness Book of Records and there was one older than Whiskey that was 34. I'm not sure if it was in South America or South Africa, but somewhere down that way, but apparently that one has now died. I think probably living in Jaywick has helped Whiskey, and I think the Jaywick air must have something in it that is stimulating him. What 
By not being dead, Whiskey is pulled in coach parties from as far away as London. He's gone through a lot in his life, you know, the minor strike and Mrs Thatcher and God knows what else. After paying a visit to an old cat, how about dining out? There are a few finer eating establishments in Jaywick than Frill's Diner. I suppose if we had a speciality here, it'd be homemade pies. Meat pies, steak and kidney pie. Favourite here is liver and bacon, so, or a fry-up. So you've got a choice. And for these loyal visitors, knowing exactly what you're going to get means they'd take Jaywick over fancy foreign climbs any day. You know you're not going to get food poisoning. And the weather abroad, it could, like, you could have a monsoon. But foreigners are more than welcome to come and enjoy the resort. I'm not French when you come and speak French to me. Oh, shall I tell this? That I could sort of say, right, yeah. And we could have a little better conversation. In fact, the simple pleasures of Jaywick mean it's being highly recommended to foreign visitors. We're from Germany and we're here in this area just to visit a few of these lovely beaches. We asked an old uh, English woman and she told us, go here, go to Jerix. When we first drove in here, more or less accidentally, uh, we thought it's just like the other places, uh, but luckily enough it's not as crowded as it is in Clacton. It'd be nice to think there's a few little Cockney boys running about with directions to Jaywick for any marauding Italians or Germans or French or the Yanks. Send the Yanks to Jaywick and let's see how quaint they think England is then. For an evening's entertainment in Jaywick, there's only one show in town not to be missed. Roy. Accepted as a musician all over Clacton and, and the Tenderin and District area, plus Jaywick. Roy packs all the old people in and the youngsters, and he goes to both levels. <sighs> Blow your own trumpet, I can pull them in. And Roy certainly pulled them in tonight. I need to put my glasses on this one, I was good. But well, this is your part of live acting. But although his slick stage show will always be a big draw. What you want, professionalism here? Roy knows it's something more simple that gives Jaywick its enduring appeal. In Jaywick you can breathe. For our final destination, we're off to the